Good morning and happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I'm sorry that my hair is a little bit messy, but I just want to make a quick video uh, right quick. I'm um, talking about, well, firstly, a little bit of an update. I'm downloading Apex Legends Season 16. It's going to be really good. And, excuse me, I'm going to hop in the shower, um, and then I have another thing that I have to do. But I'm going to be playing Ocarina of Time. Dang, okay, excuse me. Um, until it is ready. It's about halfway-ish done. I think I'll just do the complete fire temple and then hop on Apex, but I'm not too sure because I was on Apex quite a bit yesterday, and I know I could go first day on and all that, and I will maybe do it, but it just kind of depends. Um, because I really, really want to get to Ocarina of Time, and the first stream I did of it was seven hours, and it's just insane. Anyways, so, I've said this before, and I just wanted to talk about this, um... So let's just say there's a person who does their own, they have their own studio, right? And they, uh, they're, they're very weird. Now, they were always kind of cool for the longest time, the longest time. But it's almost like this completely random person that's here. Um, by the way, who's been really loud in the background, that's everyone's okay with, keep in mind. While they fight her her fiance or whatever, my dad, and this person this person homeless, but they, they fight and th they throw hands with them. Why the fuck do they fight and throw hands? And supposedly they love each other. Like, hold on. No. They argue all the time. Also. They they have both of that going on. She doesn't do anything around here. She's not done a single thing to add or benefit in any any situation and any decision that that person has made. And they have done nothing but harass everybody here, talk badly on everybody, and everybody's just to forget about it and everything's okay because they look at her body and just simp. They just look at her body. She's unhealthy. She's overweight and obese, and she's not doing anything about it. And it's basically just getting worse. She's getting bigger. And so that's that's a little bit of context for that, right? She's not helping. She's not making my dad happy. So why, why should I be okay with her? She's... Because they're supposed to be together, even though I don't really like the... There's a little bit, it's a little bit weird things there, like the age gap. Especially if they don't even like each other. But yet they'll defend like it's it's not right. Toxic relationship, even worse than that. I don't even think it's it, well. It, it could be that, but I think it's even worse than that because, on top of that, they don't like each other. She doesn't like anybody here, and I'm not doubting that he doesn't like her. And the only reason JJ Orange likes her is because he's simping. I asked him simp or pimp years ago, and every time I asked him that question, every single time he would say pimp. But yet, he's been simping this whole time. He be simping. And I feel bad because, you know, JJ Orange, he could be doing a lot better right now. You know, he's related to me. He got he got the blood of the homies X710 in the system. He got the LGE. But he's not using it. He's not using it to his advantage. He's not doing what he has the potential to do. He's not even doing nothing with it. And so, that just leaves me being the only person that, oh, they don't like because I don't like her. She talks trash on all of y'all. I even told my dad that she talks trash on him. And my sister that he gave a whole house to. And he's like, you know what, that's fine. But when it comes to one specific person, my mom, talking trash on him, it's the absolute worst he thinks of. And it makes zero sense why he just does everything in his, in his, like, to him to do everything about her and to get her out of everything and to do this to her. But not the person that's treated him worse. I've, I've seen them together, right? For, like, they're together for, like, what, 14 years or something? Maybe on or off. But they were married. And every time, when I compare both of these situations, because I grew up with my mom and dad, this person, I don't even know this person. And if they're from this town, it's it already explains a lot. And now that I've seen since they've been together for the last three years, 
it just it it it's not that it makes so much sense because I already expected it. It's not what was I supposed to expect? It's this town that that person's from. Obviously, they're gonna be stupid. They're gonna make decisions that will mess up everything here, and that's why it is what it is. What a random day on Valentine's Day to do this. But anyway, happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Um. But it just it just seems like it it just no one's no one's just doing anything about it. Like everybody's okay with that person being there. Even if they that person talked trash to their face, they wouldn't do anything. They would just let it happen. And I feel like I'm the only one who's not letting that happen, who said something about it to my dad, but I also in my room I always, you know, say something every once in a while as a joke. You might hear me say something on, on stream while I'm streaming. And I I say something because it's 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 <laughs> firstly it's a meme when I'm joking. But also why are they here still? What are they doing here? They're having another kid after fist fighting? After throwing hands? Is is that it just don't make sense to me. And that's not even the worst part, but that's happening. Anyhow, going back to this other thing. So this person with a studio has been kind of kind of all right for a long time. You know, I've knew them because another person with a studio. Let's just say Studio B. No, that's the Dream Studios down there. Studio Studio B D or whatever B. And then that's Studio V. And Studio V, the only reason I know them is because I know Studio B. And We didn't start filming with those people and didn't start doing anything with those people until like, I don't even know. My dad started filming with them first. And then when we created our first preview of a show that never happened, even though I was always down and I was always ready to do it in 2017, you guys might remember. I don't even know if the video is still up. You'd have to go look up Odd Man Out Studios and go there um, to look for the video. But it's called, it was going to be Call of Duty. They had an infinite war picture in the background. And my dad was going to, and he's going to do some drinks. It's a new type of gaming. He He's a little bit of an old school gamer. And he was going to, it's basically like he, he got drunk and then I was trying to show him like what to do. And I don't know what the premise was. They came up with, or he came up with the idea. I don't know who came up with the idea. But I don't know. I don't care because never got done. Fast forward about a year or two, I think a year. And then, um... Next Level Wrestling was created. I've always liked uh, pro wrestling for the longest time, you know, along with some of my family members, my dad. And um, J.J. Orange, I don't know what his thing is with wrestling. He just likes, like, one wrestler or a couple, and then he just... He kind of likes it, but he, does, he doesn't give it a chance. There's a lot of things he doesn't give a chance. That's another whole situation. He just likes Fortnite, and that's it. It's weird how he's playing Apex now, a lot of you might say. And then he quit Fortnite, he told me. And Anyway... Um, anyway, so he, he loves V-Bucks, and then it's just, when Next Level Wrestling was created, it was supposed to be a show that he had with Studio B, not Studio V, Studio B, working with Studio V, not as two separate studios, but, um, that person specifically, because that person's a camera person, um, mostly, so they did, uh, camera work for studio b when he did his wrestling show with someone else who cannot do it anymore but with that person and so i've always wanted i bought i looked i like that show i was there i really like that show and I, I was there to do it and i messed up one of the last parts of it but it's fine it got edited out but that's whatever so i was always down to do my own show so i've always did podcasts i've always did stuff on my own and it was in 2015 or something, before Next Level Wrestling, I'll actually get this ready. Um, when I was Lethal Deception, um, we did our own show. I recorded it, I set it up, and he did his thing. And then I added a couple comments saying, uh, go check out you know, my content um, while he's doing his. And then that was that. That was like 2015, 2016, I don't know. I was Lethal Deception by that time. That was my very first like YouTube channel. I kind of really tried to get into gaming and dabble in that. So then fast forward to 2018 or whatever, 
Next Level Wrestling, episode one. We did our own kind of like podcasting where we talked about um, rest, pro wrestling and um, stuff like that. And, you know, it was my very first time doing it. So I was getting ready. I was prepared, you know, and I was I did my best. And it turned out kind of good. And I liked it. Um, but after that, we had another episode ready. And then after that, it's like everybody forgot about it or someone got busy. But I know that Studio V had a passing, had someone pass away. So they just kind of like paused everything. They they had to take a break from all that stuff. So that's cool. All right. Um, that's cool. So they just, they just chilled for a while. And then I, uh, I was like, okay, so I have a lot of movies. What do I do? I'm writing movies for years. I'm writing TV shows. I'm writing all this. I got scripts ready. I can't contact Studio B. He's too busy. Can't talk, contact Studio V because they they doing whatever. Or, or they they can't right now because they they just want to go on a break and that's what's best for them. So I'm like, shoot, I can't film this. I got a camera, but I can't film it. So then, um, fast forward to 2020. I had a concussion and it kind of ruined my life some. You know, I have MS now. I have a whole new thing that I'm I have now and it's 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 harder to perform it's harder to do things like really it's it's really hard I can't even think about certain things anymore it's hard for me to to work and do as best as I can although I give it my all every time I throw on the camera or give it my all no matter what even if the camera's on or off if it's something of legendary grand entertainment then it's something I'm giving my all in but so, at that time, besides the concussion, I also made um, a mistake, a bad decision, and accidentally throw away all of World War Three Battle of the Treasure that I've written for six, seven years, and that's what's ha- that's what happened to it. Is I threw it all away along with movies, TV shows, all the stuff I written, gaming. And of course, I have some stuff right here, and I'm I'm very glad that I have this. I'm very, very glad because some of this stuff is stuff that I did not mess up for no reason besides all those movies. And I've wrote all of that with all of everything. I had dreams about certain scenes. I had locations that I had. I had all this stuff that went from here to on paper. And I was going to create it and make a movie out of it because I had some type of vision for it. And I really wanted to make something out of it. And boom, I'm gone. So then I started just trying to get myself in a better process. You know, I was I was going through something and no one helped. Most mostly no one helped. Maybe I'd shout out Princess and Dead because they helped some. They were kind of back and forth and just on some weird stuff. Um, at least they're not fully on some weird stuff now. I hope JJ Orange is kind of I don't know what's up with him anymore. Like we just played and then now he's talking trash already and I I just I don't know what's going on with him. Um, but at least we made the content. That's all I care about. He he talks trash in the, the content sometimes, and I don't really care because at least it's a content it's a collaboration. And I know some of you guys want to see it, and I know you guys enjoy it, so that's always awesome. Because um, I always enjoy it too. It's always it's always awesome to have JJ Orange in something. But even when he you know talks trash, it's like whatever. As as long as he keeps playing, as long as we get something going and we got like good content going, that's all I care about. Um. So, anyways. That was 2020. So fast forward about three years. Um, Because last year, I think it was, uh, they said, or my dad said that she's getting ready to come back to filming. And that took months. But, you know, it didn't happen. And then I was talking to him about making this podcast show. And maybe he mentioned it to her. And then, you know, next thing you know, in January, no, it wasn't February. I think it's. I think it well. It was this month actually, um, and then February, after five years of absence, four three years. I don't know. I think it was like five years of absence or three years, or not four four or five years. I don't know of absence. We finally make next level wrestling, kind of like a reboot for some reason. And they, firstly, the name was changed. Secondly. We were planning on making an episode two, and then thirdly, it was a new channel and new everything. Like, why? Why was it changed? 
That's one of the things I did not agree with is firstly, why did the name change? Why did all this stuff change knowing I'm a host, knowing I'm one of the parts of the show, but no one told me, but they did it on their own, then that's their show. I'm out. But I'll get to that. I'll get to that. If they're changing the name and if we're rebooting everything and even I don't even have information of the channel when I could very well edit and I could very well do stuff on that channel. I, If I wanted to do stuff solo for the show, I think that would be not bad to do that for the show but i didn't have any of that i didn't have control over the show either and my dad makes it a little bit of a, a problem apparently and he, he thinks it's a little bit of an issue because even though they're doing stuff on their own they're thinking that oh you don't want to do the show anymore and i, I told him why don't you let your wife or whatever you and you and her do the show she watches the show all the time and with you why don't you do it with her and then he's like oh what about your mom my mom and I asked him, "Does my mom live here?" And he said, "No." What does my mom have to do with any of this? I'm talking about. Oh my God, bro. I'm talking about wrestling. All right, JJ Orange. He don't give a fuck about wrestling. He likes V Bucks. He likes Fortnite. He likes all that shit. That's the only thing he likes ever, forever. Because he just he he don't want to give anything else a chance. That I try to get him a chance into, and then he. Just he has some other stuff going on that I try to help with, and he just doesn't. He just doesn't want help, and I, I feel bad for him because I really want to help him, but he's just not. He's just not letting it happen. So that's that's what he wants to do. That's whatever. I mean, I feel bad, and it's gonna go down bad. It's like with you know Princess and Dead, but it's just I'm I'm always gonna have a handout for you know one of my family, so. Cause they, they, they family, but some of them just don't think that way. And that's, that's a different thing, but I, I don't really care cause that's all I care about. A lot of people that just be whack, be whack, but back, back onto that. So, and then it's like, Oh, come on, come film. She spent all this money. That's not my problem. That's not my decision and this is not something that if if you want me to do the show you going to have to drag me like real you going to have to you going to have to pick my ass up and we we going to go like that if that's sus if that's weird if you don't want to do that or whatever or if you really want to do the show do that but if that's all of those things that I listed don't do that at all because i know one thing is for sure i'm an adult i i make my own decisions y'all do what you do and i do what i do so, if I don't want to do a show, go get your fucking wife to do it, bro. She watches that shit right next to you. It's not my fault if she's scrolling on the phone like I've been mentioning for the past two years. That's all she do. That's all she, That's all they do. On social media and just, just sitting there. Like, they, they, they skip work to be sitting at home to go on the phone. They call in sick. They say all this to go on the phone. They don't even take care of their kid. I went in this. It wasn't even a freaking year. Well, yeah, it was. Actually, it wasn't 2023. But in 2022, she had her kid, and her kid was, like, in the corner, right? I, I will never... Because it's just so random and stupid. Like, why did, why are they here? So this is the corner of the kitchen. I'm just, I'm just going to put this as an example. This is the corner of the kitchen. There we go. I think that's better. So the kid was right here, and... The way to walk in the kitchen is right here, right? So um, my dad called her. So she was walking through the kitchen, and her kid's right here. Or, yeah, he had his back turned around or whatever. He, she walked in. I think this is how it went. I don't know if she walked in or she was already in there. So it was something like that. I don't know. I think she walked in. And then the kid was in the corner, and then she, like, was telling the kid not to do that or something like that. But then she, like, grabbed the kid and just, like, threw it or something or, like, pushed it out of the way. And the kid, like, slammed their head on the wall. And I saw this happen. And it's like... And he just, he just let it happen. He was like, oh, okay. He just... He was just okay with it. None of these are red flag. None of these are things that you get rid of that person for. Like, I know you... I, that That's what I said, though. Is like, it's gonna be another kind of thing that's gonna deal with other stuff like it's gonna go straight to court you know so it's gonna be another freaking divorce and another going back and forth with all that shit because that's what's gonna happen when you're with someone you don't like that's what happens when you rush into things now 
that's if you want to have the kid, like there, and custody and all that is gonna take apart. It's just, it's just that's how bad things are right now. By the way, that's the one thing right there that ruins everything in my streams. That's why my streams are not at their full potential, and I can't make the jokes. I can't do a lot. For the most recent example, I couldn't make that one tarnation joke back in the Ocarina of Time. I couldn't do that meme. Because they were here, and it just, I was like, this is weird. It just, all they do is sit there on their phone, and they don't do anything here. And they could leave at any any time. They apparently have their own house or whatever, so they can go at any time. They have a car, they have a house, they can leave. They can stay there. If they have problems there, they're old enough, and they have all of the responsibilities that they should have taken. And I know they for sure haven't, but... They have all the stuff that they could do to get out of that situation if they're smart enough and not dyslexic. But it's 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 a very sad situation because on one hand, I have people blaming me for not wanting to go film with someone that – oh, yeah, forgot to bring that up um, – with someone that uh, doesn't have respect for me all of a sudden. It's funny, it's it's because that person, now that they're around, now that they ha they just completely changed their mind about me. It's like, wait, why? Why were you why were you fine and okay with me for the longest time, and then now you're going to talk trash? Oh, Apex Legends finished, and I didn't even have to play OOT, but I am going to play it today. But I'll play a few Apex games. Anyway, though, I'll get into that right now, actually. Um, we'll finish the video on that. So, um... The name got changed, everything got changed, and no one told me about it. But I'm supposed to be there for the show, and I'm supposed to do this for the show, but why would I do something for a show that people change around without letting me know? I'm one of the reasons that the show was made. I'm one of the things on the show. I'm one of the reasons for the show. I'm one of the main things that people want to watch on the show. I'm one of the things that people come to to see me, the Homies Act 710. So when I go there... I want to make sure that everything right. If you're going to work with Legendary Grand Entertainment, you got to do it right. If you're going to just sit there and not want to work, then I ain't going to work. So going on to that, earlier uh, this month, like a week ago, about a week ago, um, is after five, four years of not filming, come back into the studio. I was like, I don't know if I should do this because I don't have the energy as much. I, I might not be in the best shape or form right now, and I'm, I'm trying my best to do what I can do. I have my notes, though. I got what I needed to get. I, I got it last minute, but I have it all ready to go. So we got the, was it the Elimination Chamber? No, uh, Royal Rumble. Me and my dad had a few drinks. Not like hard drinks, but we had a few drinks watching the Royal Rumble, um, the last one. And it was lit. It was a good one. Kind of. I mean, that person was yelling still, and that person was kind of ruining everything. But I, I ignored it, you know. And then JJ Orange came out, and he tried to get JJ Orange to watch. I tried to get JJ Orange to watch. He just went back in his room and went to Fortnite. So, because that's always how it is. It's just, it's never a time where I can get him to not to 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 do anything that isn't Fortnite. I tried to get him into freaking Victor's Advanced Education. He's like, no, all these basics. It's like, okay, I mean, it's all right, but if it's too hard and if, if Apex is too hard, then you just like Fortnite too. But I don't know what's up with him. Um, It's like he can do these things. He's just not not trying. Um, So back to that. So going to Studio V, I head over there, and then, uh, you know, it's been a while. You know, I've had a, some bad stuff happen to me, and it's like, yeah. So everything is cool, and then we go into the studio, right? We go into the studio. And then everything was a little bit fun, and I say a little bit because it was just cool, and then we walk in, we all go in, and then I I think this is when she started making comments, and she, 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 she said something, and I was like, okay, whatever, that's little weird i mean she's hanging out with that person now i don't doubt because of that person that she's mad for whatever reason and that's that's cool whatever that person shouldn't be here and should be doing anything else but being here ruining 
uh, my family and, uh, you know, they just, they just shouldn't be here. Like they need to go back to their family. They're, they're a child and it's, and it's just, they're just a kid and they need to grow up and then try doing something relationship wise because how it is right now, they don't know what they're, they're fighting and throwing hands, bro. Like, firstly, they want to talk trash on me. I just have my door unlocked all the time. I even ask them, if you want to say something, open the door and let me know. Of course, it's it's just like how this town is. They just don't want to say anything. When It's always behind closed doors. It's always behind closed doors. They don't want to say it to, to the face. That's how people are here. They're just too scared to do a single thing. They're too scared to do anything. And I, I've been used to that since freaking, you know other prestigious clan members um specifically the other leader and it's always been like that like they never say anything they they act like they're 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 hard they act like they're this completely different person but when you see how they truly are for years and you see how they are and you see how these people are without other people around them cuz they act different when there are other people around them but when other people aren't around them and you really see them for who they are it's like, wait, where where did all of that other stuff go? Why are you acting like that? Just be yourself. Why are you playing a fake persona to, to you know, it's like, what? You ask anybody, right? And if, even if they didn't think about this question and answering it right now, you ask anybody, you ask how the homies X-710 is in real life, the same. X-Deadlies, I was just a little bit, I, I don't need to explain my character over and over again, but I was a little bit over-exaggerated in that channel. And, you know, kind of a hype type of thing in that channel. And you can ask how I am in real life. That's how I am. I'm not playing no per personality or playing no persona or some fake um, character. It's, I mean, it kind of was with X Deadlies, but not fully. I mean, that's just, just how I am. And I like it. And it's fun. And I enjoy it. But now that I am who I am without any character... Um, traits or whatever um or any like attributes but it's it's all types of stupid because i'm wanting to work i got one person telling me something that they want to go to super mario universal studios i'd be down for that but you you've already kind of messed up there and i've already apologized and said i'm sorry for that situation back in 2013 i did not mean to do that but hey we we all come from somewhere we all make mistakes we're humans we're freaking animals we're freaking mammals we're aliens you know people make mistakes got another person along with two other people getting mad at me because one person that won't leave that doesn't even like any of us that just causes problems around here and she's just the only reason she's here is because of the sex that's that's it she's there to just fuck that that's her whole purpose here that's her whole purpose ever is is just that and then a couple people getting mad at me for that and then one of them two of them getting mad because i'm not going to the studio and not doing anything there it's like it's not it's not my show i don't have to show up at somewhere that i'm not invited to if i wasn't basically invited if i wasn't um if people did not want me to be there i'm not going to be there and then i got freaking two people maybe more in my comments spamming the same thing over and over again because they're mad because i'm doing better than them and i don't need to explain anything or explain myself but it's videos like this that i really want to make because it's like all this stuff's happening and i kind of want to like hey do y'all get what I'm trying to say? Do y'all feel what I'm trying to, like, tell y'all? Because I really just... Oh, my gosh. Bro. I really just... um, I just wanted to let y'all know this. So, she was starting to make comments as soon... Like, not that long after we walk in. And then we get to the table. You know, we get ready to film. They start talking. And I'm like, okay, this is cool. You know, you guys are talking. I don't really know this person. So, we're not going to have the longest conversation unless it's about filming. Unless it's about something I enjoy. And passionate about and stuff unless it's about that that's not how you spell my name why why would they say that anyway i already seen this trailer um and freaking 
So then she brings a bottle to the table. I'm like, I didn't say I was going to drink. But all right. And then I saw what it was. It was strawberry, I think like margarita or something. I don't know what it was. But I was like, okay. It's, and she was like, do you want some? And I was like, yeah. And she poured a little bit. And I'm like, all right. Um, and then I only saw one cup. So I was like, okay, I'm going to pass it to you. And then uh, it, there wasn't much in there. And then she was like, you want some? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she poured some. But then she started pouring a lot. And I'm like, yo, I did not say I was going to get drunk in this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like that's – I don't know if I'm all right with that. I didn't, I didn't say – like they they was trying to get me drunk or something. I'm like I don't enjoy being drunk in certain places. Like I, if if I get drunk, I want to be in a place where I know I can get drunk because I personally just do not like getting drunk. It's 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 uh yeah it's there. So yeah. So um then I was like okay whatever. I tried it out and it was actually kind of good. So I I did I did drink some and I got drunk that day but hey it, it was worth it I don't lie you know what I'm saying um I'm also gonna be checking out the fourth anniversary event in a minute but so yeah I got I got drunk and um that was later but before we started filming she said a couple comments and said stuff on the side for no reason she was like talking trash basically but by, by what I mean by comments she was like uh saying some stuff and f for no reason too. Like I'm just trying to chill. I'm trying to do a show with y'all. Y'all wanted me here. Y'all said, "Hey, do you want to work? Do you want to do this show?" And I was like, "Yeah." But then you when I get there, you want to start talking trash for no reason. It's like if you're trying to defend someone, can't that person tell me that's been in the same house as me every single day? Why can't they tell me? Why do you have to tell me what they want to say? Like if they're so passionate about hating me, if they're so much about doing that, and if they can talk to my sister that doesn't even like her, and they're completely fine all of a sudden, if if they if they can talk, why can't she talk to me? I don't get it. So, anyhow, anyway, um, so that happens. She makes a couple comments, and then we start filming. So we do the show. It was good. I liked it. I don't know where the link is at. And that was that. Um, and so after that, I we finished the whole thing. I don't feel I don't know if I'm completely drunk, but I think I feel it a little bit. You know, it was chill though. And they started having a conversation. Um, so I was like just looking around. I'm like, okay, that's cool. A little cool stuff there. Like I don't know what to do. They're having a conversation, kind of ignoring that I'm here. Like as if they only want me to be there just to do that thing. So that's another thing that kind of threw me off is they just kind of like both conversated, but kind of like forgot like, hey, I'm I'm doing the show with you guys. Do you not because you guys done the show before by yourself. Studio V and, and my dad, you guys can do it. Why do you need me to do that show specifically? Like you can do it. It's not like I know everything about wrestling. It's not like you think that I know what I'm talking about. It's not like you want me to be there. It's not like all of these stuff, all that stuff. And there's so, so a lot of reasons, so on and so forth. But yet, I don't know. So, yeah, then she drops a couple of comments and a more, you know, talk of trash a couple. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Every time she says I'm just ignoring it, I'm just like, all right, that's cool. I just, my phone was dead the whole time, so I didn't have anything else to do. Um, now I was just, you know, chilling most of the time. It's it's stuff like that. Like, they people want to talk trash but they're not doing anything themselves, and I, I really want want them to do better. And I know it's because they're not having a good time or a good life or whatever. They might have something going on, but you don't have to. You don't have to come after me with that, you know. Like you can tell me if you want. You can vent. You know, I am the homie after all. I'm the homie's X710. I'll be here for anybody. You know, Legendary Grand Entertainment. But if if you're just gonna talk trash, maybe do that somewhere else. I mean, you can if you want. If you really truly want to tell me. How you feel about me or your opinion, that's cool, depending on what it is, and all of that, it's, it's whatever, but maybe not, you know, maybe maybe just keep it to yourself. Um. So yeah, that's what's going on, all fun stuff, happy Valentine's Day, I need to go take a shower. <laughs>